I read the book uh, Oasis, book one of The Last Humans. It's an e-book. It's written by uh, Dima Zales or Dima Zales. I'm not exactly sure what how to pronounce his first name. But here's here's the cover of the book, Oasis, The Last Humans, book one. It's an e-book. I got it for review uh, for free by Mosaic of Publications. Uh, what the story is, is a guy named uh, Theo, and the book opens with him having a voice in his head, a, a girl named Fee, and she tells him things, and she's, it's basically, if I could just put it down in a, in a nutshell, it's like every other young adult book that's out there. Uh, the themes are the same. It's it's an apocalyptic situation, you know, Earth, and this is the last safe harbor, this dome on Earth. Uh, horrible things are happening, but there's a secret. The, the leaders, the adults, they have a, a secret conspiracy going on. Feels like uh, Corridor by Robin Parrish. Feels like uh, The Maze Runner. Uh, I just watched Insurgent. It feels just like that. It, I was looking for something new, something fresh. One of the things that I really enjoy about young adult novels is they can tell good stories without all the adult content, the strong language, and the this the crazy violence. Oasis has incredible strong language. I mean, that's how the book opens. And apparently, uh, the authors and the publishers, they say that the language is part of the, the story, it's part of the plot. But as I read it, I, I kept thinking, you know what, they could do without the language. And so that was a disappointment. The story, it's, it's kind of a sci-fi, there's a nice twist at the end, just like every other young adult novel. Uh, the book is called Oasis, and the story is about Theo and his inner voice person fee is she real is she a figment of his imagination is theo crazy is the whole dome thing with the adults running the show is that just his imagination he has to go into this virtual reality game hello just like insurgent and divergent and all those series so my review is it's it's a decent book. I wasn't happy with the strong language. I wasn't happy that it was just recycling themes. Um, so it's uh, three stars, three stars out of five.